Before Guyana discovered oil, none of our leaders was ever invited anywhere. Matter of fact, Barajagde was president, was on his way to Kuwait without an invitation and had to turn back because the king said he had no time to meet or see him. Today, our young president is seen shaking hands with the president of the United States and dining with King Charles of England and proudly saying he has more than 50 invitations from war leaders in the waiting. <laughs> you think they love him? No, no. They love what they can get out of his country. But, like my friend Lumumbus always says, we are easy to be manipulated. You remember, President Ali said, the oil blocks, all were not going to be sold. Some will be kept for bilateral arrangements, government to government. <laughs> England has reaped and raped us for generations. They are the kings of the world. Their people are living the life of third world riches and to this day. Look how our people fighting to scratch out a meal when the day comes. And our leaders is ready to give away our US billion dollar oil blocks that can lift our people out of poverty in what he describing as bilateral arrangements. IMF, World Bank, all other institutions, they make African countries jump through hoops. Loans will never be able to pay. The US, when they borrow money, they're getting it in 1.5, 1.9 interest rate. Africans, when they get the same amount of money, they're paying 9, 10%. The people who don't need a break, they get a break. The ones who need a break, they don't get a break. The sheer survival of the World Bank IMF is based on the fact that African countries and, and many other developing countries do not succeed. Their success is based on our failure. We borrow just the other day from England 160 million US to which we have to pay interest for build bridges and roads for our people. And here, we president going to give away a whole oil block that worth US billions to put up more castles in England. You will continue to run away, to become slaves in another man's land, or continue with a begging bowl in your hands, with the crumbs that will come from those same oil blocks. Have a nice day. Addressing the Russia-African summit held last week in Russia, the Ugandan president told the world leaders at that conference that the global coffee produced in Africa Brazil, Colombia, Vietnam, and a few other countries valued 460 billion US dollars. Out of that 460 billion, the producing countries received 25 billion. Does that sound like Guyana with our resources? Everything about Guyana resources, my reporters and I have been warning Guyana about 29 years now. It has been going on for decades throughout Africa, Latin America and the Caribbean, including Asia. Just listen to the Ugandan president and watch the faces, the reactions on the 
are our leaders, as he spoke. This is the issue of coffee. The global value of coffee businesses currently is US dollars 460 billion. 460 billion. This is the value of the coffee in the world. However, all the coffee producing countries in the world, Africa, Brazil, Colombia, Vietnam, all of us, take only US dollars 25 billion out of this. The coffee business in the world, 460 billion. All of us, the coffee producers in the world, our share, 25 billion uh, dollars. Africa's share is US dollars, 2.5 billion. Out of the 460 billion, Africa's share is 2.5 Point four billion, with, with Uganda taking eight hundred million dollars, because we are now producing eight hundred million bags of sixty kilograms each. Germany, Germany, a non-coffee producing country, earns U.S. dollars from coffee, six point eight five billion from coffee, more than all the African coffee producing countries. My young friend from Burkina Faso was asking about the, this where the problem is. I could see he's very worried, the young, the, our young soldier there. So you have the answer here. This is part of modern slavery. This is the modern slavery. While he was speaking, you had to see the expression on the Moroccan leader's face. He was donging his head in shame. The countries where the coffee coming out from got 25 billion out of 460 billion. While the people who fetching it out banking 435 billion in their bank book. Germany we don't have a cocoa tree anywhere. On 6.8 billion in profit from the people coffee. More than all the African producing country. The African countries got 2.6 billion. <laughs> this is part of modern day slavery. Is he wrong? Let us turn to ExxonMobil in Guyana. And you can do the maths with me. 11 billion barrel discover. Let's use $70. It's 770 billion US dollars. The present arrangement or agreement with a contract. 75% of that is taken out as cost oil. And the remainder is split in two. With our 2% royalty gives Guyana 111 billion out of that 770 billion for the next 40 years if the oil lasts so long. When them done with Guyana, we would be 1 trillion times worse than Africa, Asia, Latin America, and the entire Caribbean. With the damages and destruction, this oil sector is creating each hour in our land. I can only see pure disaster ahead for our people and future generation. That's all I can see. Our capital city has been and still is today Stink. Stink to the max. Wait. Watch and see what will become of it sooner rather than later. Emancipate yourself. Get out from this modern day slavery. This modern day slavery these leaders have us in. 
and don't. Please let it don't go past onto our future generations. Please.